lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. And we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay, tenemos que encontrar a Cynthia Weaver. Pasaremos la noche aquí y volveremos al pueblo en cuanto se haga de día. Hey, Al, la noche todavía es joven. Será mejor que descansemos y por descanso quiero decir alcohol. No inventes, Barry. Esto. Sí, ya que. En serio, bueno, sé que no me la he ganado, pero vamos a encontrarla, ¿de acuerdo? Me da igual que seas un loco, cabrón. Nunca te voy a dejar, pase lo que pase siempre, Al, eres mi hermano. Soy un escritor, mierda. Eso es. Si me aplico, escribiría 10 libros al año. Y, y podrían ser los mejores libros del año. No, no lo creo. Tienes razón, no lo creo. Pero sé que puedo, soy escritor. Pero... ¿Qué le ponen a esa estupidez? Siento como si se me fuera a salir el cerebro por la nariz. Voy a conseguir la receta de estos vejestorios y seré un... ¡Un embriagador millonario! Extraño, Barry. Me gustaría que estuviera aquí conmigo. Lo sé, Al, lo sé. Alex. Todo se da bien. Haremos que salga bien.
coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere, maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice! behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Escribiré. Lo resolveré. La traeré de vuelta. No. Lo escribí. Al fin lo recordaba todo. Escribí en la oscuridad durante días, casi una semana. El manuscrito casi completo de una novela titulada Departure. Jagger era mi editora y me susurraba al oído, asegurándose de que el argumento la hiciera más y más poderosa. Creí que estaba salvando a Alice. A pesar de las telarañas que puso en mi cabeza, una parte de mí permaneció lo bastante consciente como para escribir mi propia huida y llevar la luz a la cabaña antes de que pudiera terminar, interrumpiendo la historia de terror antes de escribir un final en el que las tinieblas lo consumían todo. Zane era débil y estaba lejos, pero yo lo había incluido en la historia, y su luz había bastado para liberarme. Ahora no está aquí. Yo sé por qué así estaba escrito. He traído la luz para liberarte. Debes darte prisa. Sabrá que estoy aquí. Volverá pronto. Hace mucho tiempo le robó la piel a mi bárbara. Parece tan vieja.
Me desperté confuso y aturdido, con la mente consumida por las tinieblas y el miedo. Lo único que podía hacer era huir. La semana en la cabaña estaba pasando factura. Perdí la conciencia a toda velocidad. Seguro que aquello tuvo un costo terrible para Zane y lo consumió aún más en la oscuridad. Pero había logrado debilitar a la presencia oscura. Me mantuvo a salvo aquella noche. Yo lo escribí. Es mi culpa. Eso es, James Joyce. Es culpa tuya y pagarás por ello. There's a new...